The United States has cleared air around the alleged differences between Washington and New Delhi after India's continuous purchase of oil from Russia amidst protracting Russia-Ukraine war. The U.S., which referred to the talks between Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and U.S. President Joe Biden as constructive, said that New Delhi was in no violation of U.S. sanctions. Meanwhile, Indian Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar called out the selectivity of the global media houses, citing that it was letting off European countries for the same thing it was singling out India for. The Russia-Ukraine war has entered eighth week and the world continues to gaze from the sidelines. Sanctions over Russia and coercive diplomacy have not been able to put a stop to the conflict that has taken a massive toll on civilians in Ukraine. All Ukraine has witnessed in the past few weeks is buildings turning into rubble and people either leaving their homes or dying a horrific death. In the backdrop of this plummeting situation, the leaders of two biggest democracies, India and the United States, held a virtual dialogue this week. US President Joe Biden and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's talks focused primarily on Ukraine. The talks took place as the United States seeks more help from India in applying economic pressure on Russia for its invasion of Ukraine. Modi said he had suggested to Russia that President Vladimir Putin hold direct talks with the Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky. इस पूरे घटनाक्रम के दौरान मैंने यूक्रेन और रूस दोनों के राष्ट्रपतियों से कई बार फोन पर बातचीत की मैंने न सिर्फ शांति की अपील की बल्कि मैंने राष्ट्रपति पुतिन को यूक्रेन के राष्ट्रपति के साथ सीधी बातचीत का सुझाव भी रखा over the past few weeks, India has tried to balance its ties with Russia and the West, but unlike other members of the Quad countries, United States, Japan and Australia, it has not imposed sanctions on Russia. And while the US media has tried to peddle a narrative where it has vilified India for maintaining its strategic stance, Washington came up with a clear statement saying that nothing had impacted the Indo-US ties and the meeting too was constructive. Biden told Modi he's looking forward to seeing him in Japan on about the 24th of May. The United States and India are going to continue our close consultation on how to manage the destabilizing effects of this Russian war. And I'm looking forward to our discussions today, Mr. Prime Minister. Our continued consultation and dialogue are key to ensuring the U.S.-Indian relationship continues to grow deeper and stronger. However, the interesting turn of events was witnessed post 2 plus 2 dialogue where India busted the global media's reportage as conjunctures and selectivity have been the basis of their stories on Indian interests in the past few weeks. Indian Foreign Minister Subramaniam Jay Shankar explicitly expressed that India knew what it was doing and all it wanted was peace. While the international community with the support of international media has been spinning the narrative that India has somehow been supporting Russia, Jay Shankar called out that it was Europe which was doing more oil deals with Russia than India. Now, uh, as Secretary Blinken has pointed out, we have made uh, a number of statements which outline our position uh, in the UN, in our parliament, and in other forums. And briefly, uh, what those positions state is that we are against the conflict. We are for dialogue and diplomacy. Uh, we are for uh, urgent cessation of violence. Uh, and we are prepared to contribute in whatever way to these objectives. Uh, I noticed you refer to oil purchases. Uh, if you are looking at energy purchases from Russia, I would suggest that your attention should be focused on Europe, which probably 
Uh, we do buy some uh, uh, energy, which is necessary for our energy security. But I suspect, looking at the figures, probably uh, our total purchases for the month would be less than what Europe does in an afternoon. India has bought around 13 million barrels of Russian crude oil since Russia offered steep concessions. Following it, received coercive and ostracizing actions from the West. However, the news that hasn't reached the common masses is that it is the West that has increased its Russian oil demands in the past few weeks. So clearly, it is a narrative battle which some countries believed until Jay Shankar exposed them as their forte. And New Delhi has only firmed its position, saying it will do everything that suits its strategic interests and meets its energy security. However, Indian stance, as history and presence suggests, has never been even remotely close to violence, unlike others who preach what they never practice.